Hello Scorpio, hope you're all doing well and welcome to the channel. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. Now this is a general reading, it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, there is a playlist on my channel for November if you want to look at that. Or you could, you could look at your moon and rising signs. That will give you a better idea of what's going on. So we have mending, number seven. Seven is a spiritual um, number for me. So mending, healing, resolving things. What do you need to release? Waxing moon. What do we need to release here? It might be that you might you might need to be mending yourself, healing yourself, looking after yourself here. A new romantic cycle begins. That's beautiful. So we'll take another card because not everybody's looking for romance. Emotions are running high, super moon. So there's certain, maybe certain things are going on here that we need to look at. We need to release certain things here. Let's see what this is about. I'll put that there so I can lay the cards down. Five of Pentacles. Brand new beginnings. There we go. Aces. Ace of Pentacles here. Three of Wands. King of Wands. Central energy. There we go. Beautiful new beginnings coming in. Three of Pentacles. Six of Cups. The Eight of Wands. And the Page of Cups. So what we've got here is, <clears throat> there's nothing really, what we've got here is we've got to be mending things. Okay, so what we're meaning by that here is, you're feeling a bit left out in the cold and disappointed. Now, we don't want to be focusing on what we're lacking here, because that the law of attraction, universe, it just means you'll bring in more of that. We want to be accepting and changing things. Pfizer changes for me. So we want to be looking at the, the stability we have and adding to our pentacles. We want to grow our pentacles here. So we need to sort things out. We need to be releasing any kind of disappointments. We don't want to be doing that. We don't want to be feeling left out in the cold. If you look up here, there's refuge to be had. There always is refuge. They could go into this church and it would help. So it's about looking at things, releasing negative thoughts or emotions here, uh, disappointments now to bring in change. Like I say, it's fives. Now, this could be in any area of your life. It could be within your work life you're feeling this, your environments, your relationships, or with your finances. So we need to mend this. We need to sort it now. We need to look at how we can grow these pentacles. Because what Spirit's wanting for you is brand new beginnings coming in and stability. Now, this could be windfalls. It could be lottery wins that help. It could be inheritances that come in that help you. It could be wage increases. It could be anything that's financial. Now, anything, it could be your house is selling if there's been disappointments in that sense. So the profits are released, all that type of thing. But brand new beginnings here, whether it be in your finances, your relationships, it affects your relationships, your work life or your environments. So it's about planning for your future. Being creative. This is making plans for the future. You can see him going, looking out. He's making plans on how to grow these pentacles. He's looking at what he's got now he's, uh, and he's making plans so that he can grow these pentacles. And that's what this is about. So that's what brings in your brand new opportunities here. There's new opportunities that could be had if you're prepared to look to the future and put your efforts into things that you're passionate about and that will grow. Now, there's going to be good news that comes in to help this. Now, we are saying there could be romantic cycles here. So there could be good news coming in. It could be romantic messages coming in. Um, it could be emails or texts. This is good. It's going to help you go towards the new beginnings. It's going to help you with your plans. So it, it could also be new opportunities for work. It could be wage rises. Um, whatever it is that you're planned and whatever you're putting your efforts into here to grow these pentacles, the good news is going to come in. So it could be emotions are running high and somebody is ready to tell you how they feel about you if it's romance that you're looking for. If it's not, it could be good news coming in for anything that you have planned for your future. Now, it could be moving house, like I say, it could be moving town, moving country. It could be going on a holiday, any kind of travel. But any news that's coming in is going to be beneficial for you. And it's going to move you towards your happiness, what your idea of happiness is, 
So when we're making our plans for the future, we're always planning to put our efforts into things that we're passionate about because that brings in happiness. Now, this could also be an apology coming in from someone as well. So it could be a coming unexpectedly. It's a very young energy here. It could come from a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy. It doesn't have to. But this could also be somebody who's seeing you as attractive. So a friendship, they're seeing you as a very attractive proposition. A friendship could turn into a romantic relationship. So it could be Aries, Leo or Sagittarius energy as well here. Or this could be the you going towards your happiness. The good news is coming in that you need. And it could be you starting up a new business, a new project. Um, you know, new beginnings in that sense, developing a skill, going back to college, uh, learning a new skill or taking a creative, Some, if you're creative, like story writing or musical or arty of any kind, it could be using that skill and developing it, planning and how you're going to go forward with that. And it could bring in brand new opportunities for the future. So we need to be releasing any doubt, any kind of disappointment now. We need to be mending all that and focusing on our pentacles to go towards our happiness and bring and start up. If you've got any ideas about anything that you want to start up now, now's the right time. Because what Spirit's saying is you'll be laying solid foundations for your future. So make sure you plan this, you do your homework, you get everything in place. And when you put your efforts in, because you've done all the planning, there's going to be stability that will come from it. Now, like I say, this could be a new job opportunity. It could be that you're coming together in employment because this is an employment card. It could be you collaborating with team teamwork and in a team sense and laying solid foundations for the future. So anything you put your efforts into here, whether it be your work and collaborating with a partner to, to buy property, like I say, this could be anybody um, coming forward as well that is going to help you towards your happiness here. Um, it could be a it could be a friendship that turns into a business partnership as well. Um, you could be investing your money together if you've got a creative idea that's going on. Any kind of hard work that you put in, you're going to benefit from tenfold because anything that's laid on solid foundations here is definitely going to stand the test of time. So good, solid futures and foundations being laid after feeling disappointed. We're mending these pentacles. We're doing the hard work now. We're focusing on the right things that we're passionate about. And what happens with that is it brings in a brand new life cycle. Now, this is it's saying here, what do we need to release? We need to release one chapter of our life and we need to start a new one. So whatever that means for you. So any kind of disappointments, it could be new jobs you're needing to plan for, new relationships, new investments. Anything that we need to do, it's about bringing in new cycles here, putting our efforts into things that we know we can grow and flourish in. And a chapter of your life will end and a brand new chapter will begin. This is completion of one chapter and moving into another. And what we do is there could be somebody from your past coming back to help you with that. So it could be somebody you've lost touch with. It could be long lost family members or friends um, from your past. But there's a beautiful reminiscing type of energy here. So somebody coming back that you're fond of could help you along life's path. Like I say, there is a cup here as well. Um, caring people coming back. This could also be somebody coming onto your, your uh, path that's from a previous life that's going to help you move forward. But a lot of happiness and joy and reminiscing type of energy. Oh. Skills. Skills. It's time to learn some new skills, study a course or start a new hobby. It might well be any kind of creative ideas now, it's time to go for it. Proud. Be proud of who you are, where you've been and where you're going. Absolutely. I hope this helps, Scorpio. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.